A rod consists of a uniform wood section and a uniform plastic section as shown. Okay, the length is 3, this is 1. Density of this is 600, density of plastic is 1000. What is the center of gravity from this end here of the wood? Okay, they want you to find from here to here. Okay, they want you to find the distance or horizontal distance from here to here. So how are we going to do that? Okay, you need to do to use this uh, formula called the m effective x effective equal to m1 x1. This m1 x1 is referring to the wood plus m2 x2 this refer to the plastic. If you do not know about this formula, please refer to the physics academy notes. Okay, now in the notes here, I've already written for you how to find the effective center of gravity for irregular objects. Okay, but this is regular, then it's easier to do. Okay, what is the m effective x effective? Means the total mass and effective means this x effective means, means this length here. That's what I'm saying. Okay, let's take this reference as 0, 0. This 0, 0 coordinate. Now, mass, total mass is what? Is density times volume of the wood plus density times volume of the plastic times this uh, x effective, which is the effective CG we want to find. M1 is the mass of the wood, density times volume. X1 is the CG of the wood to this reference 0. In this case, it must be 1.5 L. Okay, M2 is for the plastic. For the plastic is density times volume. The effective length is from here to here. So it must be 3 plus 0.5 L, so 3.5 L. Okay, subsequently you just sub the number inside. Density of wood is 600. Volume is what? Volume is length times cross-sectional area of the, of the rod. Okay, density is 1000. For the plastic, volume is the length, which is L, times the cross-sectional area. Then X effective. So this one, the, the rest you dump in the same number. You can get the X effective is 2.214. The answer is C.